Hey, this is Jeff Lars here with part 23 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we did some book hunting, finished that up, got some flippers, and today we're going to make our way to the fourth dungeon after doing a little, little, little bit of side thing, a little side thing that I just wanted to do before the fourth dungeon, but after that we'll hop right in. So as you can probably already tell, I'm not sounding so hot. I have a bit of a cold, I guess you could call it a spring cold maybe. Don't really know. Either way, I'm not feeling so hot, and my voice probably reflects that quite well. So, you go in the water, but, yeah, I, do, I don't sound so great, I don't feel so great, but I really wanted to get a part out, because even though I did tell you guys that I wasn't going to get one out yesterday, I still want to still wanna just get one out today, just for, just for the fun of it. So you have the sick version of me. Hopefully this won't last very long. So, as I said, we're going to go find the, uh, the last part of the Tingle side quest. And the last Tingle is here in Tripoli Highlands. And we just have to go through this little mole mid tunnel. Excuse me. And I believe there's a um, Kinstone wall right here. Perfect. So now we're getting our fourth Goron. And we'll worry about these guys later, after the fourth dungeon. Today I really just want to get started on that monster that is the fourth dungeon. Yes, it's a tough wall, you Gorons. One thing I am kind of disappointed about in this game is the lack of a Goron city. I mean, we get th we get these little Gorons in the side quest here, which is pretty cool. But I would like a full-on Goron city, like in like in the Oracle games. Wait, I don't know if Oracle of Seasons had a Goron city. I know uh, Oracle of Ages did, but Seasons I can't quite remember. But yeah, I really would like Goron city. It would be pretty cool. But I don't get it, so it's alright. So we're just gonna fuse our, our kinstone with knuckle, and then we get our pretty neat goodie. And we get a big goodie, and we get a bunch of treats for going into these little tree huts. Yes, yes, I know where it is. Alright, away we go. Oh, one little note about the flippers it's kind of annoying in this game. You can hop in the water anywhere you want, but you can only get out where there's like a staircase or a lower patch of water. It's kind of annoying. Just wanted to vent my frustration with that. Alright, let's get there as quick as possible. Here we are. Light the lantern. Now, what kind of treat you got for us in here? 200 mysterious shells. Jeez, how many do we have? 615? Man, it's a lot of shells. Maybe I'll just start collecting figurines off screen. Try and make some progress on that, and maybe by the end I can get the get that heart piece. That'd be pretty cool. I don't I'm not gonna make any guarantees though. Here comes our big ladder. More double appearing music. Still don't understand that. Kinstone piece. Oh, missed the ladder. There we go. Alright, what is our prize for today, Mr. Treasure Chest? The Magical Boomerang. So like in all other Zeldas that have two levels of boomerangs, the first one's kind of weak and doesn't go very far and you can't control it, but the second one, you can control its path. So, I like this item, it's fun. A lot, lot better range, too. Anyways, enough of that. To Lake Hylia we go... I think we got a couple of heart pieces we can nab down there. Probably some stuff to do as a minish, but I'm not going to bother with that now. As I said, I just want to get into the fourth dungeon. Now, that little pool of water here is pretty suspicious. Anything? Piece of heart. Perfect. And I know there's one more piece of heart that we saw down here last time. Not this one. This one, as I said, we can't get on the water without the uh, without either shallow water like this or a staircase, so that one's we're not going to be able to get for a while. Oops. Jeez, how did I not get hit by those two rocks? Weird. I think the last one is just... There we go. Ooh, we get a heart container. Nice. So now we're on the second row of heart containers, meaning we're over halfway there with all the heart pieces. And this right here is the Temple of Droplets. And we've got... About five minutes left, so let's just hop in and see how much we can get done in one one go. 
Yeah, it's cold in here, Ezlo. We're gonna have to deal with a lot of ice. So, I don't know if any of you remember this, but... Yes, I know the floor's made out of ice, Ezlo. You don't need to tell me. I'm trying to talk to everybody right now. Thanks. So, if you remember the third dungeon, I said that that dungeon was gonna be a lot more complicated than the other ones. And it really wasn't. I guess I kind of misremembered how bad that one was. But this dungeon, on the other hand, is a lot, a lot worse than all the other ones. I am, I'm fairly certain this one's just a lot tougher. A lot longer, too. There's a lot of, a lot of ice, a lot of puzzles. As you can see, we're gonna have our first little ice block puzzle here. I am, I'm not such a fan of these. I'm, sunlight, very nice. I'm not such a fan of these ice block puzzles. I'm not the best, I'm not the best puzzle guy out there. Just a little, I just find them a little tough. Yes, I know what to do with this, buddy. So, you're going to get to watch me sliding around, messing up, and just doing horribly. So, we'll be in here for a while. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I'll try and, I'll try and get through as quickly and painlessly as possible. <coughs> Oof. Sorry about that. Cold still catching up with me. Alright. You guys can die. You too can die. I'll take that hard. I said I'll take it. Uh, this one's a lot more complex than the last one. But I think... I think I know what to do. Just judging by the shape of the blocks and such. Right there. And I think... You can... Nope. See, that's one thing I really don't like about this place. You're trying to coordinate the blocks just right. <clears throat> and, uh, sorry again. And Link just can't seem to get a good a good, uh, good grip on the ice with his feet. Yeah, I got it. Thank goodness. At least I'm not feeling on the first two block puzzles here. That would just be... That would just be depressing. To say the least. Big key. Already? Okay, then. I guess I was lying. It's time to go face the boss, guys. Let's go... Let's go take the boss down. Temple of Droplets over. Yeah. Let's go take him. I believe we're just going right down here. There we go. All right. Boss time. Right? Oh no. No, no, no. There's our there's our element right here. Right past the boss key, but no way. Can cannot be that easy. And there's a giant Octorok there just frozen. Ay, stop hitting me. I think this is the way we're supposed to go at first. Anything down here? Some rupees and dungeon map, maybe? Perfect. Alright, now let's head past this spike thing of death and get destroyed by it. Ah, slugs, my old friends. How I missed you from the first dungeon and your death from above. You guys were truly champions. You flies I don't miss, though. You just get in the way. Now, of course, we gotta bring back the old stretchy shrooms. Wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a minish dungeon without those, would it? There we are. Now, I think for now we are supposed to just drop right down. Nice. The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. Alright. Oh, I see. Big ol' thing shaped like a pot. We can just dive down. Small key. Let's see. And I guess we can't progress. Oh yes, I remember this part well. 
well, not really well, but I remember that. Well, you'll see what we get to do in a minute. There we go. More climbing! Oh, wow. And we are just about out of time. I think I'll just open up the lock door up here and cut it. Give you guys a little teaser about what we're going to be getting to do next time. If I can make it. Come on, Link. No wrong button. Yes, guys. It is time for more lily pad action. So that's it for today. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we ride a lily pad. Until then, I've been Jeff Lars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.